I think that's Rob, Chris, Abir, Lisa, Carolyn, Tara, Tiger Todd, Josh, great. So glad to see you guys here. How are you doing, Chris? How was your trip to Vegas, man? It was it was beautiful, man. Great trip. Um, you know, had to listen to some audio books, some motivational stuff. Um, you know, just kept learning, kept growing, um, and just getting excited about this event that I'm, you know, currently at. And, uh, you know, obviously what we're doing here tonight, uh, super stoked about that. But, yeah, it was, it was a good trip, man. Um, you know, just excited to be here. Yeah, me too, man. Super excited. So let me just uh, – I'm going to give uh, one more second here. I'm sure I've got more people emailing me. Yeah, I've been trying to keep up. I'm, the messages are pouring in faster than I can say can answer. Like, they won't let me in. The link's not working. I'm still waiting. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Exactly. I'm, you know, that is totally my fault. I will completely take the responsibility for that. When I set up this link, uh, I was in a different time zone. So my computer, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't even think to, to look at that to check it. So totally my fault. Yep, and that's and that's the, the wonderful advantage of being in Arizona is we don't have to set our clocks back or forward, but now we have to like redo the math of like, we're actually mountain standard time instead of uh, Pacific now. So you know, if I'm talking to somebody in New York, oh crap, what time is it? Is it two or three hours difference? <laughs> it's just like, it screws us up instead of screwing us up for like a day or maybe a couple of days or a week. Mm -hmm. It's just like, great. The next several months <laughs> we're going to have to like, wait a minute, what, you know, what's the daylight savings time? So yeah, it's all, it's all good. So at least we're not the only ones, man. I've, I've seen it all over the place today, especially people not knowing what time it is. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and as everybody's coming in, uh, on here, uh, again, a little, a little of a bit of a late start because of the, the link issues or whatever. Thank you guys for, uh, being attentive and everything. Uh, let me actually, I'm going to just real quick change the link inside the click funnels, uh, thing as well just in case any new registrants are coming on here because I'm just, I was just about to post a link here on Facebook. So I'll update that. So all this means is you guys are going to get even more time with us, even more value, even more funny stories uh, about overcoming little stupid tech hiccups like this, or even like, even when it doesn't involve technology, here's a perfect example. Today um, we were, you know, sketching some stuff on a whiteboard in the front of the room at this, uh, this marketing intensive. And uh, we had to, to create a download link so they could download some resources. Um, so I put the link, you know, domain.com slash, you know, like copy resources. Let's say it was the link. Well, um, somebody left a permanent marker on the board and I wrote nice big letters at the top of the board, <laughs> the link in permanent marker. So now <laughs> um, that link, I told everybody, well, I guess that link must have been really important because uh, it's now permanently on that, <laughs> on that whiteboard. So Guys, if I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I can still make just absolutely ridiculously silly mistakes. And uh, it's all good. So hang on one second here. Um, so we got a bunch of people hopping on saying hi. What is up, everybody? Russell, Constance, Derek, Michael. What is up, Sasha? How is everyone doing? How is your Thursday? Are you guys excited? Let me know in the comments. Light up that chat. Let's see who's excited. There we go. <clears throat> awesome. Can you guys put in the chat here uh, where you are um, attending from? Where are you from? You, which state? Which city state? <laughs> Hilton, Las Vegas. I, I might be there too, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Looks like we're getting everybody on. Man, there's nothing, there's nothing like having a webinar that's overbooked and then everybody gets, uh, you know, is, on, is sitting on the wrong link or, you know, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just like the anticipation was boiling everyone. So we appreciate you guys coming on. So, um, Chris, I think we're pretty ready to get started here. Uh, you, yeah. you all set on your side? Yeah, man. Ready when you are. Oh, sounds awesome, man. All right, let me just close out some of my windows here. We've got, I think, 20 other people in this house on the same internet doing Facebook ads, so I'm going to do my absolute best here. But if for some reason I should drop or something, Chris, feel free to send me a text message. Same here. So awesome. awesome. <laughs> so it is so great, again, to see everybody here. Let me share my screen here, and I'm just going to double check. There we go. Can you guys let me know if you can see my screen? Actually, pull up the chat here. Get a bunch of yeses. 
Awesome. Great news. I'm not, I'm going to do my best to ignore the chat to the best of my ability, at least Jen and Chris as well, probably for a good chunk of the webinar uh, here. But uh, we will be doing like a Q&A at the end, by the way. So, um, you know, don't worry. Uh, we will be answering questions and stuff as we go. Um, the one thing here, let me back up here is, uh, and, and I should also mention that Jeff is uh, just wrapping up another uh, webinar. He'll be on here uh, within a few minutes. Uh, probably within the next 15 to 20 minutes, I guess, at this point. So don't worry, Jeff will be um, attending live with us here in a moment. So I know everybody wants to see Jeff's smiling face. So <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see him in a little bit. So guys, welcome to Business Accelerator Live. Um, Chris, Jeff, and I, we have been so ridiculously hyped to do this webinar for you guys. Uh, the last week, we've just been uh, going bonkers, pulling our hair out, some of us uh, more than others, perhaps. <laughs> Right. So uh, again, three in the trenches, entrepreneurs reveal the nine vital elements to building their successful online empires. Before we even get started, let's get focused, everyone. If you've got TV on, sh shut it off. You can Netflix and chill later. If you've got Facebook open, close it. If you're messing around with your cell phone, shut it off, put it on silent or whatever. Get that pen and paper ready to take notes because this is going to be action packed. We don't want you to miss it. Again, to be blunt, if you can focus on this presentation for the next 90 measly minutes, then accept the fact that you'll continue to struggle for years, just to kind of set the tone. Because if you haven't uh, already noticed by you know, any of you coming from all three of our lists, um, we don't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> We're going to be pretty blunt and honest with you. So strap yourself in, my friend, because all three of us will not be pulling our punches and only focused on delivering knockout value uh, in, a, in a one, two, three punch between all three of us to everybody here tonight. So you might be wondering, what makes this webinar any different from the other quad, quadzillion you've registered for before and attended? So first of all, we're going to be going over res, uh, real world results. We've all had real world results. So the knowledge and the wisdom that we're going to be sharing with you here was acquired by conquering real world business battles. No foo-foo nonsense, no quote unquote highfalutin theories. This is like down to brass tacks. Next, you're going to get immediate benefits. We want to give you stuff. We are going to talk a, a, a good amount of theory, mindset, and, and, and some skill sets tonight. At the same time, we want a few things to be actionable so that you know like, at least a few things by the end of this webinar. Again, obviously, we're not going to be able to go through an encyclopedia of exactly step-by-step, -step, a complete blueprint of every single detail of what you could do to be successful, but we want to hit on these nine points so hard that you know exactly what you're going to be able to do uh, as soon as you get off this call. Again, uh, beginning, uh, begin applying to them, uh, begin applying them to your business goals instantly. You get three for the price of one. For three easy payments of exactly zero dollars, you get to access the knowledge of me, Chris, and Jeff tonight. So get excited about that. Uh, you're going to be able to hear from all three of us. Again, all three completely unique people and leverage the business brain power of all three of uh, our unique experiences and, and backgrounds. Again, we all came from very vastly different backgrounds, all having to overcome very unique challenges to ourselves. And hopefully, if you don't already, uh, you guys get inspired by that. And uh, no, I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep having pop-ups so when people chat. I'll do my best to ignore it, even though I'm like, squirrel. You know, so, right? So, uh, and finally, just to kind of get, uh, to kind of wrap up this, uh, this initial uh, welcome here, results are not typical. We cannot guarantee any results uh, from what you're going to learn to on tonight's webinar. Most people that learn, unfortunately, they don't apply a damn thing. If you want to significantly increase your chances of success, don't just learn and do. And this is something that, like, we can all attest to at one point or another because, why? We go through school for 18 years, we sit in a desk, and we get graded by what we learn. This is about application. So don't just like come, uh, come uh, tonight with your feet up and, and take a bunch of notes and then let those notes take uh, or uh, collect dust, uh, uh, to collect dust uh, over the next you know, weeks and months and years. Apply what you learn. Okay. And, uh, and like I said, by the end of this presentation, you can bet that you'll discover how to get the results you're looking for. Uh, through massive action. So tonight, like I said, we're going to reveal the nine vital elements that allow these, quote, three unlikely heroes to create six-figure businesses within 12 months. Again, this is something really unique. Not a lot of people are actually able to hit six figures within their first 12 months online. Why did we do that? Because we focused on these nine elements and we focused on what was going to get us profitable that much sooner. 
Okay, so who the heck are we? I know we all individually promoted this webinar to each of our three lists, and uh, everybody might not know who all three of us are. So as far as my background here, and then I'll pass it over to Chris to, uh, to take the, uh, the reins. Um, I went from unemployed to unemployable. Uh, I was getting into internet marketing actually 11 years ago this month, and uh, a couple months after that, was like February 2008, I was laid off from my job. And I basically drew a line in the sand and, and said, you know what, I don't ever want to have to get a job again. And within my first year, I was doing $20,000 per month in revenue. Uh, I founded Adam Holland Marketing as well as another sister agency I'm starting up with a colleague right now and many other uh, trainings, courses, coaching programs, you name it, uh, generated tens of millions of visitors and millions of dollars in revenue for myself and my clients. Chris, brother, take it away, man. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me, <clears throat> my name is Chris Celeste. Um, I am one of the three that you're going to get uh, information and knowledge from tonight. Um, so my story as far as online marketing goes is uh, I started a year ago last month uh, getting the information and really getting started. Um, I placed my first ad in January of 2018. Um, and then within two months of that, I started making five figures a month. Uh, from there, I went on to do nine grand short of $200,000 my first year online. Um, because I dove in and really, you know, really dug into this and really wanted to learn it and found passion in it, um, I was able to really excel and, and blow my business up, which allowed me to have the opportunity to speak on stage and share my experience and my knowledge with hundreds of entrepreneurs on multiple occasions. Um, and I also now have the ability to turn around and uh, do a marketing and mindset podcast where I do interviews with successful entrepreneurs and I get to you know, hear about their story and, and, and share. And then our third host, um, who I'm gonna cover for him until he gets here, uh, it's Mr. Jessica Bonnie, a very good friend of mine and one hell of an entrepreneur. Uh, he's a former restaurant manager turned digital marketer. Uh, he has managed over seven figures in ad spend, and he is a Facebook and Google paid marketing expert. Um, and one hell of a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now that we got all the introductions out of the way, who's fired up some badass content? Woo! <laughs> All right, so who's ready for the nine vital elements? Let's hear. Let's get a one in the comments in the chat here. If you guys are ready to really dive into this content and learn what these nine vital elements are to really drive this business in 2019 to heights you've never thought possible. Perfect. All right, let's dive in. So vital element number one, mindset. <clears throat> Why are we even talking about mindset? Well, I can tell you right now from personal experience, I would not have the success I do today if I did not change my way I thought, did not start to cultivate and grow my mindset. And if you start to study successful people, people who have abundance and wealth, there's a common thread between them all. And that is they focus heavily on a positive mindset. They know that by living in gratitude, um, being able to have courage to take action, that they will have the things they want and they can have great success. And there's on the opposite side of that, there's the same reason why you have lottery winners who, you know, a majority of lottery winners end up going bankrupt after they win and are actually in worse financial situation than they were when they started. And that's because their bank account grew, but their mind didn't. And they weren't ready for that wealth. They weren't ready for that, that newly formed, like that, that new wealth that they just received. And that's one thing that, that's why it's number one. That's why it's on this list. It's so important. Um, you need to be growing your mind and feeding your mind as well in order to grow your business. Um, one of the most powerful states, states you can be in and mindsets you can live in is gratitude. It wasn't until I started practicing gratitude on a daily basis and I stopped being upset and dwelling on the things I didn't have that I was longing for. And I started focusing on the things I actually had in my life that my true success took off. And I highly recommend that you start living or practicing gratitude. Um, if you need a book, highly recommend The Magic, Rhonda Byrne. Um, it's a great way to get introduced to gratitude and really start practicing it. And I swear, once you start having gratitude for the things in your life and just being truly grateful for what you have, you get more of the good. And it, it's a powerful thing, and I highly recommend it. So 
feeding your mind. What you're putting in is what you get out. You know, if you're spending all day on scrolling through social media and watching Netflix and you're wondering why you're not successful and you're not growing and you're not satisfied, I have a, a good reason or a good answer why. You know, you're not growing your mind. You're not constantly pushing yourself to really feel fulfilled and live a happy life. You need to be growing and you need to be taking on new things. So feed your mind with new information, information that's actually going to make you grow. And the last thing I really want to emphasize when it comes to mindset is having a clear reason why you, you're doing what you're doing. Having clarity on what you're doing is, is essential to, to achieving that goal. But knowing why is going to be what gets you through every obstacle. It's going to, what, it's going to make you have the intrinsic motivation to really push yourself to that end goal and see it all the way through. There will be no quit if you have a strong enough reason why. Which brings me into vital element number two, audience building. Now, I want to just take a second before I really dive into the three steps that I use to build audiences consistently um, and just point out that I'm going to use the word asset when I talk about audiences. But when we get to vital element number five, um, you're going to realize why I don't believe it really is an asset. Um, it's an asset in the general definition of the word because it is something that will continuously make you money and you don't have to keep putting more into it. But uh, when we get to five, you'll have clarity on why I do say that. So let's dive into it. Step one, how to quickly find a converting audience. The easiest way to find a converting audience is to sell or promote a product that you already use or like. Why? Because you're already going to have common interests and hobbies and things with people who also like it. So you can start to target things you already know and like and you can talk about. And that will allow you to automatically establish a relationship with the people and you will be able to. Um, really start to like take five to 10 of the things that are, you know, most common hobbies and things like interest of yours and test them. And then out of them, you'll find the ones that work the best, which, which was the sweet spot. And when you have a good converting audience, we'll move into step two, which is expanding that best audience into the millions. And um, I just want to touch too that, you don't have to use common interests and things that you like. If the product you're using also has, you know, uh, common interests among it, uh, it's a little bit more of an advanced technique because uh, you don't have to know how to speak to them, um, which is why I say to start off with something that you know, love, and use because you'll be able to speak to them already. And um, as far as the advanced technique, there is a thing called uh, Google Insights. You can type in whatever it is you're looking for, and it'll give you those common threads for you to start. Uh, really starting to uh, test out and find that best audience. But once you find these best audiences, here's where the fun starts. Because you no longer have to do the hard work. The tools like Facebook's um, Ads Manager will do the work for you. It already has your best audiences. It already has common points that the people in those audiences are linked to. And once you start to use the tools available, such as lookalike audiences in the back office of Facebook, you can really expand winning audiences out into the millions and never run out of qualified customers for, to buy. And that's when you get to step three. You have your million-based uh, customers are ready to buy, and now you can start really duplicating and scaling and putting more money behind what's working and really maximize your return on investment. And that's my, my three steps to list building, uh, audience building. So this was going to be uh, Jeff Sclafani's, but since he's not with us right now, I'm going to jump into it for him. Um, so paid advertising is our vital element number three. Um, and we want to talk about it because it, it's absolutely crucial. Um, you know, paid advertising is going to get your quickest return for your money. And in, in this instance, I'm going to talk about your best bang for your buck, which is Facebook. Um, you can't get a lower uh, at daily ads budget to get the data you need to really start scaling out and building out a campaign than you can on Facebook. Where you're spending five, ten dollars a day on Facebook to get the data you need, you're spending over a hundred on other platforms to get that same data. So to get your best bang for your buck when it comes to paid advertising, right now it's Facebook. <clears throat> Using Facebook policies, policies to your advantage, guys, this is, this is huge. You know, a lot, so many people in the industry are dealing with the finickiness of Facebook, getting their ad accounts banned, shut down, you know, ads disapproved, not getting ads approved. 
This is huge because if you actually take the time to read the compliance, to learn the policies, to listen to some of what Jeff has to say because he understands it a little bit, um, you will be able to, uh, Adam, can you tap it please? Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to get better engagement, lower CPMs and better conversions because Facebook will look at what you're doing, see it's compliant, see you're, you're listening to what they, they're asking for and they'll actually boost you and give you a better, um, better engagement, better views, better everything compared to somebody who's trying to just sneak around, find a workaround, um, and, and just try to like play tricks, we'll call it. Um, you know, stay ahead of the algorithm, stay compliant, constantly be looking for new things, and Facebook will reward you for that. So that's, that's uh, you know, why we want to stay uh, compliant, and that's why, how we use their policies to our advantage. Um, and then, you know, why use multi-platforms? Um, Google AdWords and <clears throat> um, Facebook, they speak to each other. So if you start getting data on, on Facebook and you build out yourself an audience, you can take that same data, transfer it to Google AdWords and already have an existing converting audience to start working with. So you don't have to spend that money building out the data uh, for like a YouTube channel when you can, or on, on a, just Google AdWords in general, because you already took the time to spend it on Facebook at a lower, you know, lower cost. And now you're taking that data, bringing it to, to Google AdWords, you already have your audience and now you can start sending traffic to that and it's no longer cold. Uh, so that's, that's the, the use of multi-platforms in, in ad, paid advertising. Right. And uh, one, one thing just to clarify, basically how it works is if you've got your Facebook pixel and your Google AdWords uh, or Google ads, I keep, I'm going to keep saying AdWords because it was, after the last 10 years I've been online, mm -hmm. uh, it's, just, it's now Google ads. If you've got the uh, tracking of both, uh, but let's say you're getting Facebook traffic, Google is able to see that traffic with its analytics pixel and it's pulling in the data of those users. So you're able to basically duplicate that data across both platforms, even if you're only initially using one of them for traffic. So this way, when you go to run traffic on the other one, you already have a bunch of data to work with. It's awesome. It's like one, two punch. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This is, and this is me. And, and before I jump too deep into to seven figure funnels, you getting, you guys getting something from this so far, go ahead and just yeah, put, put something in the chat box here for me. I just wanted to point it out. I didn't want to interrupt you before because we were in a good flow, but there is a bunch of bonus time popping up in that chat right now. Awesome. That's what I love to hear guys. <clears throat> so, uh, and, and when you were talking about audience, the only thing I could really think of was the fact that, uh, you guys, this audience, you, you listening to this right now, um, you guys are so awesome that you actually did a double opt-in webinar. <laughs> we actually had to, like, oh, you have to go to your email, check it, check the new link, and actually kind of opt in again to the webinar. <laughs> so, like, we appreciate you guys uh, so much, and uh, you guys rock <laughs> the double opt-in webinar. So, mm -hmm. uh, vital element number four: seven-figure funnels. So, if you're short on time to build your business, guess what? You need to be effective with your time. So, what do you need to lean on? Automation. And what I call fantastic follow-up equals freedom. Now, are follow-up emails still valid? Do they still work? Absolutely. You should absolutely have a follow-up sequence. However, follow-up emails these days simply aren't enough. Deliverability is becoming an issue. People don't check their email quite as often. There's other things that you need to do, like Facebook Messenger, actually doing potentially phone follow-up, depending upon your business model. There's other things that you should, you should be doing. Uh, remarketing, obviously. Another thing that I see uh, not a lot of people taking advantage of is creating urgency. You must give people a reason to take action now. How many of you want an actionable step that you can take right now in your business and start making sales as early as tomorrow, as early as this, you know, the next week, the next seven days? Would that be exciting to you? Go ahead and just type yes into the comments for me. Oh, yeah. I, wonder, I was going to say, I wonder if it will actually show me more than the 99 comments in the, in the notifications. It's, it's going faster than I can even keep track of. Right, right. So, so here's the deal, guys. I know lots of affiliates where their usual traffic, they might get two sales a day, nothing, five sales in a day, then back to three. And it's very, I mean, it's kind of consistent, but it's kind of a, lo a low number. Then all of a sudden, they'll do a promotion to their email list and say, hey, guys, if you haven't already gotten started with us in this affiliate program or this opportunity or this course or whatever it is, they say, you know, we're going to throw in this free bonus. It could be, again, it depends upon what the price point is, but if it's a low price point, you might give away a free PDF that you can get at like a private label rights website. You can download 
uh, an ebook for six dollars, rebrand it with your own name on it, it becomes your piece of uh, content. Say, so, you know, if you purchase by this time on you know 6 p.m. Uh, on Friday, I will give you access to this ebook. But you have to purchase you know this particular affiliate product or this course or whatever it is through my link by then and forward me your receipt, and I'll email you back that ebook. So isn't that a cool tip where you're basically saying that instead of giving them this option of like, oh, they can join whenever they want, guess what people always do by default? Procrastinate. <laughs> they will not do it. Man, you know what? I really should go on a diet. I'm going to wait until the new year. Why? Because everybody's doing it for the new year's resolutions? Really, what's the difference between starting then or starting tomorrow or starting today or starting last week, right? So giving people that uh, that sense of urgency to take action now is vital in your business. And uh, again, like I said, I know people that were doing three to five sales a day and all of a sudden they do a promotion like that, 80 sales in a day. And all of a sudden they doubled their revenue for that month, all because they used urgency. So again, most people have learned the basics of what pieces there are in the sales funnel, but rarely have they actually seen a real life example of it, the gears in, in, the, in the machine turning in real time. So here's an example of that. Do you have a calendar where you know exactly what you're going to be doing on a daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly basis to grow your business? And I'm going to say this is not rhetorical. Go ahead and throw into the chat, you know, uh, yes or no to calendar. Now, I can almost guarantee you that uh, a good chunk of you probably have a day job and you're looking to use affiliate marketing as a tool to uh, grow an income so you can eventually work your way out of a job, correct? So what happens here is if you go to your job in the morning, chances are you know exactly what's expected of you. You know what tasks you need to accomplish. You need to know what key performance indicators or what kind of tracking is set up so that you know, people know that you're doing your job. Are you that detailed in your business? Do you know exactly how you're showing up to work and what you're doing every time you show up to, quote, work in your business? This is something that is so important, and this is what really minimizes or eliminates the confusion in your business is taking the right action. So are you running in circles, or are you in the flow? Because when you know exactly what to do, it's not, oh, I'm going to work on my business between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Or, or something, or 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. at night. I only have two hours a day. If you're not effective in that time, you're, you're wasting a lot of that time, I can almost guarantee you. And then uh, back to Chris. Yes, sir. Uh, vital element five. Um, it's communication, guys. Uh, and you may have mentioned, I may, you know, may have remembered me mentioning earlier that this was going to be one that I hit back on uh, when I talked about audiences. And we'll get back to that in just a second. But I want to talk to you about communicating with your audience. Um, and step one is just staying in front of them, staying on their minds. Um, I do this and my, my uh, principles behind this are just to provide value. Um, so I do micro value videos, uh, micro value posts, micro value content. So what it is, is um, say you're promoting uh, a ketogenic uh, recipe weight loss book. So what you would do is you would find, you know, things like the best places in town to buy uh, grass fed all organic beef or uh, the best kind of vegetables. And you would just do a quick, you know, two minute video or a quick post like, hey, you know, this is what I found. This is one of the best places in town to get this meat. It's, you know, completely organic, blah, blah, blah. It provide the information, provide the value. And then, you know, in the PS or in the, in the copy itself, uh, you just kind of, you know, hint to the fact that, you know, it goes really well with whatever you're doing. Or, you know, you know by the way, if this interests you, you know, I have something that really could benefit you. You don't have to give the, this, this hard sale or the, the pitch every time. It can, it can be value-based. But what it's going to do is it's going to keep you in front of your, your potential customer and your customer, um, and it's going to keep them on the, you on the forefront of their mind, building trust, building loyalty, um, building authority. So if they don't buy, when they are ready to buy, you're going to be the first person they think of. And if they do buy, they're going to stick with you and buy again and again and again because you're continuously providing them with value. Um, <clears throat> so the next part of the communication thing it is where I get back to um, your list is not an asset because when it really comes down to it, uh, you know, every one of the people who buy from you, every customer, every potential customer is a soul, is a person with their own problems, fears, you know, loves, hates, and being able to put a personal touch on, you know, a, a higher ticket uh, sale is, is crucial. It's huge. Um, you know, something as simple as like a, a front end sale that's, you know, $100. Um, if you take the time to, to not just 
you know, send them whatever they bought, but to actually say, hey, welcome, you know, congratulations on your huge win and, and improving your life with this product. You know, take the time to, to, to welcome them in, to, to share them, to let them know you're a person and you're there to help them if, you, if that's the, the model you're in or you can be of assistance. Just be a real person. It goes, I can't even tell you how monumental that little extra bit goes when you're trying to really sell something high ticket. Because it's real easy to get someone to pull out 20 bucks from their pocket and hand it to you. People will spend 20 bucks on the most ridiculous things. But when you start talking about hundreds and thousands of dollars, people want to know you're sincere. People want to talk to you. People want to know it's for real. And putting that personal touch on, your, on a higher ticket is, is, is huge. And the power of empathic engagement. You know, something that I'm well known for in my online business is my empathic engagement. Um, I don't let anybody who is interested or, or takes the time to ask me a question go without an answer. I, I take the time to actually care, which is not something that can be taught, but if you can find it in you to actually care about what you're selling and how it affects the lives of the people, it will be a monumental shift in your success. Because when you stop caring about the money you're making and actually start caring about the person buying it and how it's going to benefit their life, your communication with that person is going to change, the way that person feels about that purchase is going to change, the way they talk about that purchase is going to change, and it's, it's going to ripple. And it, it, it's, in my opinion, one of the, the best ways to really get your message out there and have people trust you and look at you as an authority and it be genuine. Awesome. Thank you. Vital element number six, high ticket sales. What would it be like if your bank account started to look something like this? Yes, this is a real screenshot. Getting deposits, five figure deposits pretty regularly, weekly or biweekly basis. And here's a couple other like recent ones from another bank account. That's what, that's like 11, 14 grand in about two weeks. Not, not too shabby. <laughs> so one of the big reasons why, why I was able to catapult my success online in my first year wasn't because I was selling uh, ClickBank products where I made a $25 or $50 commission. So uh, let's just, is it, is it cool if I can just be brutally honest? Do I have everybody's permission here? Just go, just type in brutal into the comments. <laughs> to, that's how I'm going to get permission to make sure I'm just like brutally blunt, blunt and honest with everybody here. It takes the same amount of time to sell a $5 product, a $50 product, a $500 product, or a $5,000 product, typically. Not in all cases, but most cases. And I find that many marketing rookies get frustrated earlier in their new career because they just have unrealistic expectations. They think that they're going to sell, you know, 100 of these $25, you know, commissions a day, make $2,500 a day, and do that on a consistent basis. And typically, they don't realize that it might cost them $100 to generate a $25 or $50 sale or commission. And the reason why you can do that and the reason why you can still be profitable doing that is because of having a sales funnel that has back-end offers, in this case, high-ticket offers so that you can remain profitable. So I wanted to go through just a quick example of like an educational sale versus an e-commerce versus uh, selling services, events, and programs because um, I know most people on here are probably doing stuff in affiliate marketing and you can promote a vast array of things in affiliate marketing. So in educational sales, let's say I'm trying to teach somebody how to be an affiliate marketer. I'm trying to teach somebody more about my financial service, you know, like a life insurance or something like that, what kind of life insurance it is, um, how it's going to be benefit them in retirement. That's an educational sale. There's a certain education process the prospect needs to go through from I don't know what this is. I think I'm interested. Yes, this might look interesting. Okay, now I've been given enough information where I can make a buying decision. Those sales cycles could take a week, could take a month, could be shorter, could be longer, right? But what about e-commerce? If I see on my, on my Facebook news feed a t-shirt that I like, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm probably just going to click on the damn thing and buy it. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to research like, well, what is this made of? <laughs> you know, I'm like, it's probably a cotton t-shirt, maybe some nylon or something. As a matter of fact, the stupid t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, the Senator We Run Ads shirt with Zuckerberg's face on the side of this thing, was a t-shirt that I actually bought on Facebook, right? And then on the, on the same uh, wavelength as that, we're talking uh, services, events, and programs. 
most people online, they're like, man, I, you know what I love to do? I'd love to make a, or, uh, do a thousand to $3,000 a day in volume. We have a client right now in my agency where they have yoga retreats. They're based in Australia and they're doing hundred thousand dollars per month in volume. Why? Because they're selling events. They're selling basically a service where people can go uh, do a midweek retreat. It's three days. So guess what? The, the educational process isn't that long. It's like, it's pretty obvious what a yoga retreat is or what a health retreat is. They read over a few bullet points so that it includes all the food. There's, you know, a place to relax, uh, waterfalls to meditate under, you know, and all these like five, six benefits. And it's like, wow, I'm sold. So again, not a long sales cycle there. So understanding that sales process is going to be vital to be able to, uh, for you to be able to make high ticket sales and be more profitable online. When I was selling, um, business to business, like advertising and mobile communications, it was pretty easy to go to a business owner and say, Hey, I want to sell you yellow pages advertising, which is obviously a dead industry because of what we're doing online now. <laughs> and then mobile communications companies that needed cell phones, every, every company needed cell phones, you know, for their employees that, uh, that I was prospecting. Now it was a little bit different when I moved into business to consumer high ticket selling because I was selling basement, finished basements and sunrooms. So I actually was able to sit down with somebody, go from handshake and not knowing them to three hours later collecting a check for ten to twenty thousand dollars. Because some of these rooms or additions we were putting on people's homes could have been thirty to seventy thousand dollars. But I, and I was able to close those sales within three to four hours. Why? Because I sat down, went through a survey, and asked them a bunch of questions to figure out what their pain points were and or what the benefits they were seeking of that service. So I knew exactly how to sell them. It's kind of like uh, the Trojan horse of consultation, uh, consultative selling. So understanding why someone will buy is a hundred times more important than listing every single feature your product and service has. Element number seven, tracking and testing. Chris, you got this one? So yeah, pop it up. <laughs> So here's the thing. Uh, this is another one of Jeff's, but he's still not with us. So I will take this for you guys. Um, tracking and testing. So here's the thing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, a pixel is what tracks all the information for you on Facebook and, and allows you to, to build up your data and, and target properly. Um, so to properly train that using copy, um, what you do is you start you actually using the words you use will start to target the interest. So if you start using, uh, you know, uh, constru I work construction, Facebook actually reads the algorithm, the, the bot will actually read your copy. It'll pick up those keywords and it'll actually start to look for those interests without you ever targeting them just based upon what your actual copy says. So if you can um, start to, to put in interests and targets into your copy, the pixel will read it and, and start to um, pre-qualify those prospects for you. Awesome. That is a huge tip. Um, and then, you know, for those of you who don't know, in, in the back office of Facebook uh, Ads Manager, there is a feature um, among just building ads that's called Dynamic, dynamic Creative. Um, what this allows you to do it is split test um, in, in a way that uh, – without actually having to build out multiple ad sets and do it the old fashioned way. Um, you get to put in multiple images into one dynamic creation and Facebook does all that work for you. It starts to, to send it out to different audiences and different combinations to find out what works best. And it saves you the time of manually testing. And when it comes down to it, it is a business. It is not about your ego. It is not about you. Your feelings do not matter. When it comes down to it, it is about the customer and it is a business of numbers. You need to be able to remove emotion, look at the numbers and make decisions based upon what the market is telling you. If you're reacting on emotion and you're living on ego, you're going to make mistakes. You are going and you're going to ultimately ruin your business. So your feelings do not matter. So, and then just really quick, I noticed you put it in there and it's a great point. Just copying someone else's ad and putting it out as your own it is the number one reason you're going to fail. You don't. So when someone writes copy and they're, they're, that copy converts well, there's a lot more that goes into it than just the words they're putting into it. 
uh, the, you know, it's, it's who they're targeting, the trigger words they're using. There's a lot more to it. And if you are just trying to copy and paste, you know, it's the number one reason why campaigns fail. You don't have all the elements. It's, it's a lot harder than, it's not, let's not say harder. It's, it's not as easy as just copy and paste. You know, you have to take the time to understand the fundamentals of copywriting, hands down. Awesome. But element number eight, crafting your vision. And we're actually going to, I'm going to kind of just throw up all of these bullet points up here. And I think that we're all going to just kind of, uh, me and Chris and uh, when Jeff hops on here, hopefully in the next few minutes, uh, uh, we're all just going to kind of bounce ideas off of each other because this is something that um, I honestly, at one point in my business, I knew how important it was. And then I kind of got away from it. And guess what happened to my business? Okay, it didn't crash and burn, but it, it definitely went back. And then it only in, when I started to focus on my vision that much more again, I was able to craft a vision for my future and, and uh, have goals and set those goals and achieve those goals. That makes sense. So my, this is just some questions for you, you, the viewer listening to this right now. What's valuable to you? I know for me, like I never got really like hyped up about like the, the big house or a fancy car or something like that. Um, but there were values to me where I actually got a lot of value out of, uh, and self-esteem and self-worth out of just building my business and being, and I don't say like throwing it back in, in people's faces cause I never really cared for that either, but it was basically like kind of like a self-validation. Like somebody else told me I couldn't do it. Somebody thought that it wasn't possible and you know what? I proved them wrong. I didn't have to shove it back in their face, but that definitely gave me like a lot more confidence in myself and what my abilities were, especially like my background is being unemployed. I didn't exactly have the highest view of myself, right? And that kind of leads into this next bullet point here. What is your vision of yourself now? How do you view yourself? For me, I had to like take a, a deep breath and realize, uh, and again, this, we can talk about business in, in these terms, or we can talk about this with, with relationships or a number of different things. But I know that like when uh, my wife and I, uh, obviously like girlfriend at the time, uh, we're talking about like where our relationship was going and stuff. And we, we were going to talk about marriage. Uh, I knew, and I, luckily I was objective enough to realize like, man, my parents got divorced when I was five or six. I uh, saw so my dad get remarried and divorced again when I was a little bit older. And I realized I'm like, man, maybe I never had a good example of marriage to follow. Maybe I don't even know if I had a good example of being a parent to follow. And I needed to basically swallow my pride and realize, you know what? I need to seek out answers. I need to seek out knowledge. I need to seek out people that are mentors, people that I could, uh, that set a good example so that I could follow that example. Right. So was the vision of myself at the time, you know, I can even say now, like, Hmm, am I being the best husband I could be? Am I being the best father I could be? Am I being the best entrepreneur I could be? What is that vision of myself? And then now what's the vision of myself in the future? Most of us don't really think of that in terms of like, well, in three years, I want to have X, Y, Z. And they maybe put down a number of what they want in their bank account, or they put uh, this figment of, uh, of these dreams on a dream board of the, the house and the car or whatever. But ultimately, the real thing here is the, the real tangible thing uh, is the, what's the person that you will become in order to achieve your, the goals that you want to achieve? Because that is going to be a far greater reward than anything tangible, if that makes sense. I kind of want to break there. Chris, you want to... You wanna, take a crack at it here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, so the next one, how would your daily life change if you achieved your goals? Let me move the chat out of the way. I mean, for me, uh, this, this last year is just proof of what, how, how fast and how drastically life can really change when you start, you start hitting those goals. Um, you know, personally for me, uh, I just, uh, I got told I was never going to be you know, able to really learn and be successful. And I was always going to have memory problems. And, you know, my speech was always going to be uh, slurred and inconsistent. And, uh, you know, I wasn't able, you know, just like what's happening currently right now, sometimes my brain moves faster than my mouth. Um, and, you know, the doctors kind of told me that that was going to be something that was going to be my life. That was going to be because of the scar on my brain. Um, you know, I was going to have to accept that. And, you know, it just, when you start to, to remove these beliefs and you start really setting goals for yourself and then start achieving them, 
all of a sudden your perspective on life changes and then life itself just changes and improves. And that's kind of how it's been for me in this last year. Um, yeah, absolutely. Jody limitless. Like that's how I feel now. You know, once you prove to yourself that there is no obstacle that you cannot overcome, achieving goals becomes a lot easier. And then you're able to, to break it down. What I do is I break it down into something that is tangible and easy to get to. Um, easy steps to hit my goal. The goal is usually very big, but the steps are easy to get there. Um, so, you know, how would your daily life change if you were able to achieve those goals? If you were able to set it up so that you couldn't fail? Um, and how would your family life change? That, I mean, personally for me, that was one of the biggest changes for, you know, I, that's the whole reason I wanted this. I wanted to improve my family's life. I wanted to be a part of my family's life. I didn't want to just be the guy who was paying the bills, putting food on the table, and then watching them take vacations without me. I wanted to be the guy who could be, you know, cooking those dinners and be on those vacations and be the, and be bringing in the, you know, the financial security. And, you know, how would that, how would that change your family dynamic? Um, if you could craft your vision and then, you know, how would others lives around you change? You, it's, there's a saying that you can't stick your hands in a bucket of glue without pulling something out. And that's, this is true to this, this last question here. If you're improving your life and you're constantly you know, cr focused on hitting those goals and, and making your vision a reality, you are going to start to change. And then therefore the people around you are going to notice that and they are going to start to, to adapt and, and either they're going to move away or they're going to start to change too. And they're going to start to get inspired and, and motivated by your growth and your change and want it just as much. Um, so, you know, how are others' lives around you going to change? Awesome, Chris. And now uh, when you were talking about, um, you know, how your daily life would change, man, like it was really difficult for me not to tear up because like how many people went through their own struggles and their own heartaches and overcame so many challenges and so many obstacles that were in their way so that they could impact our lives to get us to this very moment where we're, we're actually here delivering this message to everybody on here. And well, I, I want to take that a step further and tell all the people like listening to this right now, like this isn't about us. This is about the impact that you guys are going to have on the world. Not just the world. I mean, I can be, you know, vague and just say the world, the impact that you're going to have on your own life, your family's lives and those lives around you. This isn't, um, some just like, like a, like a BS ploy or just something like that we put in here to just try and like pull on your freaking heartstrings or something like that. Everyone like this is real. And like, it's, it's, man, it's hard for me to put into words the gratitude that I have for, people that are probably, they're either still behind this wall, behind me here, somewhere over here, or maybe they already went to dinner, uh, which I'll be joining them here in a little bit. But um, there's people, you know, in this house that I'm in here that have, uh, have made a huge impact in my life where, you know, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't have the relationship with my father I have today. Uh, we weren't on speaking terms for about three years and we just started talking again. I was able to visit him back in New York and like relationship with my wife. I, I, I know like Chris and I can probably go in circles on this one slide, you know, so I'll, I'll kind of cut myself off here, but basically like realize that you don't know the impact that you're going to have on other people uh, until you go out there and you start to achieve the success that you've wanted to achieve. And that in turn inspires those around you. So just really keep that in mind. Uh, vital element number nine, coaching and mentors. Um, we're going to each probably share a little bit of a story around here, but when I was first starting my business way back in uh, 2007, uh, I paid $1,500 for coaching. My take-home pay was around the same amount. So I basically took an entire month's salary and invested it on, in coaching on a credit card, and within a few months, I was laid off from my job. <laughs> so it was just like, man, I just put myself in debt, and now I drew the line in the sand uh, after I was laid off that I needed to make it work. I needed to, you know, build an income online. And I can't say that I would have had the same success at all without some kind of coaching and mentoring. Um, and Jeff, obviously, dude sold his car to invest in coaching, invest in a program that would get him results. He got those results, and then he bought the car back with the money that he made, which is freaking awesome. So for me, um, you know, I, I knew the pow like the, how powerful coaching and mentoring could be because I had already built – a business with a partner from the ground up with no help. And I knew how 
so how much struggle went into that, how many growing pains went into that, and how many big mistakes that cost me a lot that went into that. So when, this up, when an opportunity of moving on online came to me, I knew that I wanted to get around people who were going to help me fast track it and avoid a lot of those growing pains. So I knew I wanted a coaching and mentor. That's why I went as far as you see here. I literally uh, went to my sister and she gave me money from her wedding fund to put a down payment down to start my mentoring. And then I went and financed the rest. Now, luckily for me, that put a drive in me like no other. And I was able to, to make all that back and some and you know, pay back the loan, pay back my sister on you know, more than what she gave me all in six months. But I, that's because I knew the power that you know, coaching and mentoring could have. I wasn't afraid to invest that money because I knew that if I followed their instructions and I didn't try to reinvent the wheel, that I would have the same success they had. And boom, it happened. Awesome. So uh, I recently did a, a go live on this. So for, for some of you that saw me do it, uh, I'm going to just sum it up here relatively quickly. But one sentence can shift your entire mindset and perspective. It'll, it'll annihilate excuses and it'll pivot your path so you can achieve your dreams. Um, I had a mentor who recently uh, passed away. His name's Mark Hoverson. Mark uh, passed away from pancreatic cancer at the age of 39, leaving behind a wife and four kids. And the impact that this one person had on me, um, I can't even put into words. But what I can, what I can do is share uh, two very short experiences that uh, he had given me in two, uh, two, two sentences that completely changed my life. The first one was um, I never really put an emphasis, like I said, on like the cars or the house or anything like that. But he happened to own not one but two Cadillac Escalades. So I asked him flat out, like no fear, and just said, like, dude, like you, you came from a trailer park. Like why, you know, after you made all this money, why was it important for you to buy two Escalades? And he said, uh, you have to reward good craftsmanship because you reward good craftsmanship and they'll go out and they'll make things better and make things better. And you get to, you know, when you, when you work really hard, you also get to enjoy, you know, the, the fruits of your labor. So just those, you know, that sentence or two completely changed my outlook. I'm like, man, like luxury isn't like about me necessarily. It's about giving back to those uh, craftsmen, those engineers, those architects, whatever it might be, uh, that actually, you know, the inventors that built whatever that is, rewarding them so they can go out and continue to make things even better. And the other thing I had said was uh, I had, I think, done like the P90X like beach body workout like three times back to back and maybe put on like four pounds because I was just a rail <laughs> 10 years ago. It was like 142 pounds at the time or whatever. Uh, and I basically said, you know, my metabolism won't allow me to put on any muscle mass, blah, blah, blah. And he's just like, if you have the right nutrition and you're working out right, muscles, like, what, did he, what did he say? He said, uh, uh, muscles have no choice but to grow. So I was just like, oh, you mean I can't just use this like genetics as an excuse? I mean, if I just have to be consistent and persistent in what I do, I can actually achieve my goal. And here I am sitting here 165 pounds, you know, probably six years after that conversation because I just stayed consistent with it. Just one sentence completely changed my look on health, nutrition, and everything. And, my, and obviously my vision of myself going back to a, a, a previous uh, uh, vital, uh, vital step here. So again, relationships, health, and wealth. Uh, another thing, solo success is a myth. Chris, you want to uh, speak a, a little bit to this? Yeah. So, you know, the saying, I'm a self-made man, I, I, I honestly believe it, it, it shouldn't even exist. You know, they're, they're, you, give me, you show me one person who's successful and did it entirely on their own, and I, I just won't believe you. I don't know anybody. I, I've never seen it. I've read and studied success, in, you know, very, very intently over this last year and, and a little bit before that. And everyone, everyone gives credit to a mentor, a coach, someone in their life who showed them a way or, or you know, coached them or helped them along. Everyone has support. Everyone has someone ahead of them showing, not everyone has someone ahead of them showing the way, but everyone does have a level of support. So solo success truly is a myth. You know, there's always someone in your life that is supporting you and helping you to get there. Uh, right. Absolutely. Oh, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to say this quick uh, thing about solo success. So uh, I've played, uh, there's actually in this intensive here, there's another guitarist and I was telling him this story as well. And uh, I, I had a gu guitar lessons, I think I had uh, four sessions and then the guy stopped showing up to practice. 
And I literally, I was like 14 years old, and I said, F this, I'll just teach myself. And I went online, and I started learning from what's called tablature. It basically shows you a number and where to push your, push your finger on the fretboard, and that's how I taught myself guitar. And was it a good idea, you know, was it a, a great example of being resourceful? Um, did I, because I actually went through that, I was able to experience being in a band in college and all the fun stories and everything that happened with that. It's like, man, imagine if I gave up, I would have never experienced all that. But here's another thing that I learned is even after pushing through and learning everything, quote, by myself, I still had people around me, like the people in the band, to try and like help me out or give me tips. And despite even all of that, because I didn't learn from a seasoned professional, somebody that's had been playing guitar for 20 plus years and knew a lot of different techniques, um, I tried to learn a technique on guitar after 20 years and I still hadn't figured it out. And I realized after 20 plus, almost 22 years actually at the time, that uh, I wasn't holding the guitar pick correctly. So now I've got to undo 22 years of habits in order to learn how to do that one little technique correctly. So should I have probably gotten those lessons or figured out a way to get the lessons instead of just teaching myself? Probably because it would have actually gotten me greater success. I wouldn't have plateaued probably 17 to 20 years ago in my guitar playing and ultimately would have again, uh, had that success quicker. Jeff's joined us. Hello, Mr. Sclafani. Hi. Yeah. I was just about to text him. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, sorry about the late gig. It, uh, I couldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> the party's begun now, brother. Right. So uh, imperfect action beats perfect inaction every single day. And uh, I also had just 100% of my coaches and mentors I've met at events. Uh, at one time or another, whether it was before or after I heard him for coaching or whatever, but all the people, I can say without a doubt, all of the people that have impacted my life in a huge way, I have met in person at some point uh, or another. The very, and if I can't say all, a vast majority. <laughs> Jeff, do you want to add in on anything now that you're joining us here? Uh, no, no, I was just trying to actually catch up where we were. <laughs> well, we're, 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 we're finishing on, on the 9th and we're about to continue. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. I don't know if maybe you wanted to share a little bit because uh, we just briefly went over, you know, how you had to sell the car. We didn't even really go into the suits or anything. I don't know. Maybe if you just wanted to share a little bit with that. Um, it, 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 guys, it basically comes down to like, what are you going to do for your business? Like, I mean, you, you got to be invested in your business and investing in your business is investing in yourself. It's not going out. Trust me, the money's there. Everyone, believe me, I, I know it. I know everyone works their butt off and they'd want their they deserve what they go and buy. If they get something off Amazon, you work your tush off, you want to go buy it. But when you invest in your business and you put it, put it in the right spot because you are the best investment you can possibly make. And that's what business people do. You, you do for a couple of years what nobody else will do so you can live like nobody else can live. And everyone thinks you just have it like that because it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, dedication, and a lot of sweat, tears, and cup, man, a couple of tears, I'll tell you that. But then, like, you just grow. All of a sudden, everyone thinks you're an overnight success, but it's also learning and mastering the tools that it takes. And then you don't have the money. I mean, yeah, I sold my car to get actually the actual training. It, it's, it was the best investment I ever made. I, I, to go, go to Awaken, um, a, a self, I mean, a self-help um, course, I sold suits to get there. I mean, thank God my girlfriend sp sprung for the room, but I had to sell the suits I used to use for my job to get there. You know I mean, it, I'm burdening myself with things that actually don't matter and actually putting them where they do was um, actually one of the key things to my success. Awesome, man. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's awesome. Are you guys enjoying the content so far? Go ahead and just put the number. Like, we're, I, I'm giving a 10 out of 10 effort, and I know everybody else here is. So if, if you guys are loving the content, just put a 10 in the comments for us. We're getting 11s, 10s, 10s. 11s. Yeah. I love 11s. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of awesome, guys. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So um, we ain't done. We ain't done by a long shot. You know why? Because we do have uh, nine vital elements, but at the same time, we always want to over-deliver. We want to share with you more. We want to do more. We want to be more, right? So let's yep. get into it. So obviously, in this short amount of time, we couldn't cover everything in detail. And I'm actually going to just minimize this here. I don't know if you guys uh, that are attending uh, can still see our faces at the top of the Zoom or whatever, but I want to make sure I can see all the slides. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, obviously in this short amount of time, we couldn't cover everything in extreme detail, but what if you could get more in-depth training where all of these topics and more were covered 
and you got the one-on-one -on -one attention you need to pivot your business to the next level. So over the years, all three of us, Chris, Jeff, and I, have seen more than our fair share of just hype fest seminars, supposed high-ticket masterminds that over-promise and under-deliver, under but guess what? We are here to change that. We are here to show you what the Phoenix Marketing Experience coming this January to Phoenix, Arizona is all about. This is a very, very unique experience, guys. This is the mastermind event where only 25 smart entrepreneurs will get exclusive access to the only marketing experience that ensures you leave with the knowledge, connections, blueprint, and mentorship to reaching your goals. Now, that sounds like a pretty bold promise. Woo! <laughs> right, exactly. Like, I'm about excited as Joey from Friends 2 right here. So, I'm, I'm bonkers here. So, guys, that might be, we might be, you know, silly, you know, with our gifts and everything. This is our silly animations. But we're dead serious when it comes to making certain that you're going to receive, uh, that what you receive when you attend the Phoenix Marketing Experience will radically shift your business and life. So, let's dive into the specifics of what you're going to receive when you secure your spot for what we're calling the Phoenix Marketing Experience. That's such a pretty logo, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> so proud of it. So day one, the foundation. Um, building the foundation, that's weird how the, this is kind of like off the, uh, the screen, but whatever. Uh, so building the foundation into the nine elements. So we're going to go over the nine elements again in more depth, give you more examples, and really uh, get, uh, get into that. Um, after all of us deliver content, we're going to do a breakout, what I call a round robin session. Um, one of my mentors, like I said, Mark, um, he, he did it at a couple different events and everybody out of all the events they said they've ever been to and the, big, the, the most valuable session at all those events was what was called a round robin. So what would happen was, is uh, in this case, let's say we've got 25 or let's say 24 people, eight people will go with me, eight people with Jeff, eight people with uh, Chris. You're going to hammer us with all the, all the questions from all the nine vital elements that we went over, all the content that we share with you. Just hammer us with questions for 20 minutes straight. And then after 20 minutes, we switch. And then after another 20 minutes, we switch. So this way, everybody gets to hammer all three of us with as many questions so that you can uh, basically get everything out and make sure that you've got everything covered and you get some clarity in your business and you know what to do next. Then even uh, above and beyond that, um, my, my lovely assistant, as I call him, Jason, <laughs> who is uh, an expert interviewer. He's done over 100 interviews on his podcast uh, to experts of various backgrounds. He's going to lead an interview to us where we're going to still allow some Q&A, but we're also going to have um, a long list of questions that all three of us, me, Jeff, and Chris, are going to answer from the front of the room as well. Um, we are also going to be catering lunch for all attendees. And we're also going to have a binder with slides and notes that's branded with our cool little logo on it. How many of you have been to events before where you're like, oh my God, I have to take notes so fast. Oh, the slide went too fast. I missed something. You're trying to take notes so vigorously and rigorously that you're, you can't even listen to what the speaker's saying and you miss something. How many of you have ever experienced that before? It's a little frustrating, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to prepare, believe it or not, in advance, all the slides for the event, print them out, in advance, put them in a three ring binder, and then, so you can't go ahead, we'll probably hand them out before each session, but this way, you don't have to wonder whether or not, you know, they're gonna say, oh yeah, we'll, we'll email you the slides, or we'll upload them online and give you a download link or something, or blah, blah, blah. Guess what, you're gonna have the slides sitting right in front of you right there at the event. Isn't that pretty damn exciting? Heck yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see, is, that, is that exciting? Let's, let's see some ones in the, in the chat. Who's excited about that? Heck yeah, that's, that's again, it's something like when we were designing this, we were like, what is the absolute best thing that we can do in terms of providing value for you? It's not just providing the content, it's providing you with the tools and the resources to be able to apply the content. And that's the best way, we, one of the best ways we know how to do that is to, to actually give you the slides so you've got them for safekeeping. Yep. And all this, uh, all this content, I know Adam's busting out his new content. Um, that nobody's ever seen before. I'm going to be dropping stuff that nobody, I, I'm, I'm wondering if Chris of Adam have even heard some of the stuff in Facebook. Um, we've spent, I've had the privilege of being able to spend millions through an agency and being able to practice, find things out. And like, this is just things I don't talk about. So if I put it, I put it out there, it's just a long explanation. So um, the, what were you going to be getting out of this, especially with all Adam's stuff that hasn't even been published yet, is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And, 
and you know the funny thing is Jeff is I had a lot of people today at this intensive asking me Facebook questions and I'm like I don't know I call Jeff <laughs> <laughs> thank you brother so uh, and then finally uh, the reason I bolded this next one out building your vision for the future and developing uh, the skill set and mindset is because just like what we were talking about with the vital elements uh, I can't remember exactly what number it was but vision is so important and it's not just like the vision of yourself. It's obviously setting up the vision for what your business is going to look like um, and then obviously how to get there. So uh, we want to make sure that you have a vision set and then we're actually going to dive in deep to, uh, to basically help you figure out what you need to track in your business so that you know exactly how to do that and uh, measure yourself and how close you are. You're getting to your goals on a daily basis. So that is a huge value. I can't see it on the screen, but it says uh, day one is valued at $5,000. Day number two, the deep dive. This is where we're going to go even deeper into mindset. Um, we've got a very special speaker. Uh, I'll just call him Mr. X for right, for right now. But Mr. X uh, has got almost 20 years in the personal development niche. He's going to be coming and delivering a short talk uh, as, as well as he'll be on the guest expert panel. Uh, before I give you more details on the guest expert panel, I'll also let you know that we're going to be doing hot seats. So if you have a sales funnel, if you have ads running, or if you're looking to get your sales funnel or ads up, we can actually critique your business. We're going to have uh, a dedicated time to do a minimum of three hot seats where we you know, dissect and just rip apart your whole business and uh, build it back up again and make sure that you know exactly what you need to do when you leave to go and get results. How's that for value, right? Now... The guest expert panel, whenever I go to events, I always learn a ton of knowledge, yet at the same time, I make a ton of connections. A lot of people that I've met at events have become clients, students of mine, uh, customers of mine, you name it. And especially uh, with a guest expert panel, you get a chance to learn from somebody at the front of the stage, but in such a small, intimate environment, if you've got questions for them, guess what? They're going to be in the room after they talk too. So this expert panel, we're going to have uh, questions ready to, oops, to uh, discuss uh, with all these people um, a vast array of topics. So to give you an idea, um, one of my buddies who owns a marketing agency just north of where I live in Scottsdale is going to be there. To, and he's got a, a background in everything from network marketing, high ticket direct sales. Uh, he's sold financial products before. And like I said, he's got a digital marketing agency. He's been a chief marketing officer, chief sales officer in various companies, just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to that. Um, another person that's coming is actually a former student and co uh, customer of mine turned colleague who's actually a business partner of mine. We're opening up a sister agency to my marketing agency. She's got a lot of experience with her uh, now spa that she had closed down. Uh, and now gone straight into the digital marketing for the wellness industry. So if you have a brick and mortar location, uh, being able to pick her brain and ask her about uh, getting ads, for, you know, to, to get foot traffic in the door at your local business, or if you're like a realtor and you need uh, local customers or clients like that, um, another person again to, to be able to pick their brain. Uh, I've got another buddy of mine that's going to be on the expert panel that uh, has done eight figures in direct response marketing uh, direct, in direct mail. Uh, he transitioned out of doing that and doing courses teaching that into e-commerce, and he's in the middle of an exit right now, and I believe by January, he will have had a very large exit from his e-commerce business, and he's already starting to put that into another e-commerce business so he can get another bigger exit uh, down the line. So do you have dreams of building a business so big where you can actually sell it off for a very large sum and retire off of that or put it into other passion projects and grow other businesses? That is going to be an amazing resource, and this guy is just a brilliant marketer, and uh, I can't wait to have him here. And I haven't had lunch with him in like three years, so this will be really special <laughs> as well to see him again. Uh, like I said, we'll also have the personal development speaker, and the last person on the panel uh, is going to be a guy that owns a seven-figure coaching business who will be attending as well. Uh, he's also local to Phoenix, a longtime friend of mine, and uh, got a wealth of knowledge in terms of direct response marketing. Um, as well as coaching and high ticket sales. So that alone, I mean, that's going to be worth the entire, um, the entire cost of uh, the, uh, the experience. Uh, next, we're going to do future casting your vision. Uh, I'm hearing a uh, beep. Are you guys hearing me loud and clear? Are we good still? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. So future casting your vision. So again, we're going to talk more about vision like we, we are going to on the first day, but we're going to cement that vision a lot, uh, a lot more crystal clear. Uh, lunch again is going to be catered. 
and uh, we're going to actually craft the blueprint. So just like I was alluding to before, we're going to not only help you uh, craft the vision for your future, we're going to actually blueprint it out so you know exactly what you need to do when you leave, how to track it on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis, and then actually hold you accountable to that as well. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we're getting to that in a second. The third day of the event, yes, there's more. Ah, so excited. This is just so awesome. So, uh, and, and I'm, I forgot to say this, the second day is valued at $10,000. So day number three, the VIP experience. I could not get to this slide fast enough because this is so awesome. So um, we want to really go above and beyond. Now, again, like my background, I was just like, I'm not too excited about cars. I love Lambos. I love Ferraris. It, it's still going to be so fun. We're actually going to take you to Glendale Raceway and have you drive an exotic supercar. Uh, and it says racing. I, I don't know if we'll race. But you'll certainly be able to drive that freaking thing as fast as you want. So, <laughs> right? yeah, I don't, I don't want to get swiped by Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> you guys look competitive. <laughs> but here, here's the reality, guys. Uh, again, I, like I said, with my background, I'm not, like, huge into cars. But I also realized that I need to experience things and really get into abundance even more. I need to get out of my comfort zone. I need to start to experience things that most people will never experience. Most people are never going to sit behind the wheel of a Lambo or a Ferrari. And to be able to, you know, to, to not only get a picture in front of it, like at a car show or something like that, and maybe sit into it, but actually be able to press the button on that engine, sit there and wrap your hands around the steering wheel and hit that gas pedal for the first time. I got guys, I don't care if you drive around the track going 50 miles an hour or 160, you know, or whatever the heck it is. It doesn't matter to me, but either way, it's going to be exhilarating. It's going to be a new lifelong experience that you're never going to forget. And I can't wait to see you there to be able to experience those memories with you. That is just going to be awesome. Next thing up is the VIP professional headshot photo shoot. Now, you may not be as beautiful as the, the stock photo, uh, the girl in the stock photo here, <laughs> but ultimately, um, I've been to a lot of business events. I know the guys have as well where it's just like we leave with some knowledge, maybe some connections, but do we ever leave with anything tangible that we can take away with us? So not only are we going to have some video and some uh, 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 photos taken uh, at the racetrack, we're also going to have an area set aside when we get back to our, uh, our luxury estate uh, to be able to take pictures so that if you want to use these as your new profile image, if you want to use them in your ads, like take a picture of you like with your hands up pointing or whatever and a button, uh, and make that into a banner ad. You can do whatever you want with these pictures. Maybe you're, you've thought about authoring a book and you need a nice headshot for the, the author section on the back of the book. And you guys are going to be able to use these assets for whatever you want. So then that's another $500 value. And finally, guys, if I eliminated everything else that I had just talked about and just said this is going to include one thing, the three-month business accelerator, it's going to be worth it for you. So not only are we going to deliver you content, not only are we going to give you and uh, introduce you to uh, connections that can potentially make a huge change in your business, not only are we going to set up a blueprint for you in your business, we're going to hold you accountable to all those key performance indicators, all that tracking that you need to do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis for three solid months to make sure and ensure that you um, develop those habits and you start to get the results that you've been yearning for in your business. How long have you been working on your business where you haven't had anybody looking over your shoulder, haven't had anybody giving you feedback, haven't, haven't had anybody telling you how to pivot that one degree that can make all the difference in your business? Guys, the time is now. So this is going to be a, uh, a coaching and accountability program for three months following the event to ensure, again, that you're getting results in your business and you're able to get it to the next level. Finally, VIPs also receive not only... Uh, dinners on Saturday and Sunday night, but the night before the event starts on Friday as well, plus networking with the hosts and speakers involved enough. There may be some cocktails involved every one of those nights. <laughs> 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 anyway, so, uh, and, I, and, and by the way, the best way to get uh, the, the, the best uh, audience and communication, uh, audience generating and communication tips out of Chris and the best Facebook tips uh, from Jeff, get them completely shit-based. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we so need to deliver lots of content day after day. So we can't go too hard on the first two or three days. Mm -hmm. so, so finally, VIPs that also are the house guests, you also get a chance to stay at the house that we're, the, we're doing this at for the ultimate experience. It's going to be January, so you may or may not be in the pool. I don't know if it's heated. We'll check into that. Or if you're coming from like where I'm from, New York, it might be 
warm enough for you in comparison to where, you know, where you might be coming in from. Um, but we're going to be hanging out here, you know, playing some pool at night, uh, being able to, you know, uh, you know, you're going to be able to feed off of our mindset, dive into, um, you know, some more coaching, uh, being in, you know, in the actual space with us uh, for the duration of the entire event. Also, as an added bonus, uh, just for the VIP house guests, I'm coming out with a list building course. It'll, it'll then full transparency, I'll probably launch it at about 500 bucks for like 50 people, raise the price to 1000 and then go to $2,000 uh, after the next like 50 people or something like that. But basically, it's an entire list building course, five gun for you funnels, all the email follow-ups that go with it, and the complete traffic course. It should really sell for like five grand on its own, but I'm going to be selling this for $1,997 here uh, in the next few months when it launches. Um, Two-thirds of the course is already done, by the way, so you can have immediate access to that as a VIP house guest. We'll also be giving you access to my Handling Objections video series, another $197 value. Um, these videos you can either use in your follow-up sequence and they'll handle objections for uh, handle the uh, your prospects objections for you or if you just watch them you can even just transcribe them or write you know follow up emails based around them or if anybody asks you you know on the phone or via email uh, or they give you some bs excuse i mean objection on why they haven't gotten started yet you know exactly how to answer that so how many more sales are you going to be able to close because now you know how to handle these objections so this really, it's $197 value, but it's really priceless for your business. And then finally, the buying decisions video training. I kind of alluded to before that sales process where I could sell like a $70,000 sunroom in a span of like three hours. And I, but I said I surveyed my customer and I was able to kind of pinpoint exactly how, you know, what was important to them and then how to sell to that person. I walk you through that entire process. Uh, so you can, you, you, again, you can apply this to an affiliate business, a local brick and mortar, an e-com an e business, especially a coaching business. Um, but it's, again, it's going to help you make so many more sales. Uh, that's a $97 value. Again, yours free as a VIP house guest. So how many of you are wondering, okay, how much is all this going to run me, Adam? <laughs> how, much, how much is it going to be to be able to spend three days with these three studs, right? <laughs> so what do most typical masterminds cost? Tell you right out of the gate. Uh, most of them are anywhere between five and ten thousand dollars. Some of them go twenty-five all the way up to fifty thousand dollars. And guess what? This isn't a typical mastermind. Typical masterminds, they don't give you the slides. They don't do it at a really cool estate like this. Some masterminds uh, don't have like driving a Ferrari or a Lambo around a track. Some of these masterminds don't have photo sessions where you're actually going to leave with tangible things that you can use in your business, right? But don't worry, we got you guys covered. So let me show you what's included and break down exactly what the different admissions are. So the standard admission is two full days of content from expert marketers, the catered lunch on Saturday, the 19th and Sunday of the 20th, the branded binder with the slides and the notes, and the blueprint to achieve your goals. That we were going to price at $5,000 is well valued, well over that, but uh, we're going to only, uh, we're going to launch that for only $2,500 for that ticket. The VIP admission includes all the stuff listed under standard admission, as well as Friday night VIP dinner, cocktails, and networking, Saturday and Sunday night VIP dinners and in, in, uh, uh, networking with the uh, guest speakers, the Monday VIP experience day. We have the exotic car racing, uh, car racing experience, professional headshots, and obviously while professional headshots are going on, we're actually going to be doing some additional activities in there yet that I'm not going to reveal in this webinar, but you know, we're not, you're not just going to be standing around waiting for people's headshots to be done. <laughs> you, we're going to give you some other activities to do that are also pretty darn vital. You're also going to get what I think is worth the entire program. If we, again, if we had eliminated everything else, this alone is well worth the cost. The three-month business accelerator coaching and accountability program with myself, Jeff, and Chris. This is valued at over $12,500. Again, with the coaching program could be that by itself. It's only uh, an even $5,000. And then finally, if you want to be a VIP and house guest, it includes all of the items listed to the left, both standard and VIP admission, as well as three days, four nights on location where the event is being held. You don't have to worry about renting a car, getting an Uber, trying to make sure you get to and from, uh, the, from a hotel to the actual uh, estate that we, we're holding this at. You can be right on location for your own convenience and obviously more time with us to grill us with more questions. <laughs> uh, like I said, the, my, uh, 
uh, the bonus of my upcoming list building course valued at $2,000, my handling objections video series valued at $200, and my buying decisions video training valued at $100 extra dollars. That was, again, easily worth $20,000. We're doing this for only $6,500. But, and, and you can apply now, the link is phoenixmarketingexperience.com slash apply. Um, I was told, uh, or I found out, I discovered before this webinar that it has to be HTTPS. So uh, Chris and Jeff, uh, if one of you would put that link. I dropped it. You're the man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. You got me before I could even type it. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the draw. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do something even better for fast action takers. I like to reward people that reward themselves in their business and the ones that are committed. We want to do something a little extra special for you. So for the first three people to go VIP and house guest, you're not going to pay $6,500. We're going to give you a free upgrade where instead of paying the full $6,500, you're going to get it for only $5,000. So you're going to get all of the same stuff as the VIP, except you're also going to be able to stay with us at the house and get all the additional bonuses for the same price as just VIP. Again, that's only for the first three. And just so you guys know, we have a maximum of 25 people we can potentially fit in this room <laughs> so that we can all soak up the knowledge. Plus, we got to remember we're fitting like uh, the panel, you know, the, the interview section, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be pretty tight. So it's going to be a maximum of 25. Um, we've already got one standard admission person um, uh, accepted, and we've got one person that's already uh, committed, actually a couple that's already committed uh, to doing a VIP plus house guest. Uh, we're, I'm counting that couple as one ticket, by the way. That's, you know, so, and I have a frequently asked question page here in a second for anybody that has questions about uh, if you want to bring a spouse or a business partner. So I'll get you covered there in a second. But again, the link is phoenixmarketingexperience.com slash apply. Um, when you go to that page, it looks like this. You're going to fill out your name, email, uh, your phone number. Um, if you're uh, out, of, out of state, you know, or I should say out of the, out of, uh, out of the country, um, please under company, put like your Skype ID as well. If you, if you need to or whatever, and I can hit you up on Skype. Um, if you've got a company and a website, put that in there. As far as current marketing experience, guys, um, we're not uh, going to disqualify anybody based upon their experience. If you're thinking about making on money online, but you haven't really started much yet, that's okay. I want to have a conversation with you first to make sure that uh, you have the proper expectation set of the event and you get the most out of it. The same thing if somebody's got a business and you've got some revenue going, Great, fill that in as far as your marketing experience. If you're a seasoned vet, you've had a business for 10 years, but you're stuck at only a million dollars a year and you want to take it to $10 million a year, that's great. Put that into the marketing experience section as should be an, uh, an option available uh, uh, accordingly. And then finally, under the requested ticket, again, the selection doesn't guarantee availability. If we're sold out, unfortunately, it won't just remove it from the, 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 the drop down, um, but it's basically going to be a first come, first serve. Whoever gets you know, the, uh, the sales agreements and invoices you know, paid and all that stuff done first is the one that gets the tickets. Um, so I'm going to be very transparent with everybody uh, when we sell out those first three and uh, let everybody know when VIP shuts down. We'll be updating the website every couple of days and letting people know like, how many tickets are left of each uh, category, if that makes sense. So again, after you, you apply, I'll personally contact you to set up a short conversation about your application. Um, I'm also going to email you some documentation to get the process started and send you your invoice. Um, like I said, after receipt of payment, we're going to give you more details on next steps, and there'll be additional emails between now and the event to make sure that you're properly prepared for the event. So again, we want to make sure that we perhaps give you homework, make sure that you've got your business set up a certain way or certain assets created so that by the time you get to the event, you uh, get the most out of it. This isn't just going to be something where, like, we, we take your money, you, have, you know, your signed sales agreement and say, all right, see you in January. We want to make sure that you're, you know, you're giving us some updates and we know exactly where your business is at so we know how, know, so we know how to best prepare as well and uh, uh, adjust our slides accordingly so, so we can adjust the, uh, the content for the attendees coming. So you might be wondering, why would you go? Well, guess what? You're going to save yourself weeks, months, even years of pain and frustration grinding away trying to create success in your business. You can avoid spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars of your hard-earned money buying every new guru course and still end up feeling lost and confused. You're also going to prevent yourself from needlessly suffering through trial and error, mastering the nine vital elements that we went over earlier in the webinar. So what if you could learn from all three of us in person and pick our brains for the answers to your most burning questions? 
What if you can connect with some of the top industry leaders and expand your network to new heights? Imagine what that could do for your business. What if you could gain one-on-one -on -one personal feedback regarding your business goals and how to fast track your future? What if you could leave this mastermind with a time-tested and real-world proven blueprint for your success? What if you could learn how to craft a vision of your ultimate future and a game plan to achieve it within the next 12 months? And what if you could arrive back home with the supreme confidence and laser focus and rock-solid belief that you can create anything? That's, that's worth it right there, right? Now, above and beyond that, what if you could feel the rush of roaring around a racetrack as you drive one of the most exotic sports cars in the world? I can't believe I said that the first try because that was a lot of R's. <laughs> <laughs> What if you can soak in the splendor of five-star restaurants as you network with multiple six, seven, and eight-figure earners? What if you could experience your own professional photo shoot so you can create elite-level branding assets for your business? Again, leaving with tangible things that you can use in your business. Again, guys, I, I know you might have questions about this, and we're going to get to a Q&A here in a second, so please make sure you hammer all the questions that you have into the chat here. And I know um, Jeff and uh, uh, Chris will be able to interrupt and uh, – Cut me off here in a minute, uh, as a, in a second here, as we get to the uh, the uh, the questions. Uh, before we get into that again, guys, go ahead and apply at phoenixmarketingexperience.com/apply, and uh, I will let you guys know when I, you know where we're at in terms of uh, where you know how many uh, applications I've received, and give you guys updates as far as when that uh, those three tickets uh, sell out. Because again, we only have so many. So, question for you is: What is the cost versus the investment? of actually uh, going to this event. There's two things, and I think, Chris, you, you wanna take this one over? I think you, like, when we were talking about this before, I think you, you uh, like, both of you, you and Jeff really went over this really well. Yeah, so, you know, if there's one thing I've learned in the last year is that everything has a cost, um, and even in action. So, what I wanted to talk to you about is, what is the cost that you're paying for not investing in the proper, you know, tools, techniques, and the blueprint for success. Um, you know, how, how much longer are you going to have to grind and dedicate and, and really just push yourself to, to achieve the same results when you could have, it, when you can invest and uh, have a proven blueprint that can get you there faster and without as much headache. Um, I just really want to emphasize that you know, everything really does have a cost, and um, sometimes it's, uh, you know, the investment can be a greater benefit than any cost. I don't know, if Jeff, you want to add anything? No, absolutely. I mean, there's always two prices of doing something. I mean, this is a physical monetary money price you pay to do something, and there's the price of not doing it. What, what is the price of not doing it is unfathomable. If I didn't sell my car, if I didn't sell my suits and invest in myself, the price, <laughs> you know what I mean, for what? You know what I mean? I would, I would end up paying out like all day long. I'd probably spent like 20 grand, but best investment I ever made in my life. Completely changed my life. It's not just all making money, which I love because <laughs> life is going to happen and I'd rather be crying on my yacht, to be honest with you. you know, <laughs> bad things are going to happen. I'm going to be, I'll cry right next to my margarita machine balancing around the seas. So that would be the price of me not selling my car and doing that. But the price would be like still be miserable at my job, still doing it, still being stuck in my business, um, be, trying to figure things out on my own. Um, the price of doing it is always way less than the price of not doing it if I see that. Absolutely. And, and one cool thing that I learned from this intensive, there's actually been studies done where uh, there's two, two different ones done. One was they actually put out, it was like a restaurant or something, they put out two plates of food. One of them said free for this plate of food, and the other one was like 20 bucks or something, maybe a little bit expensive. And you're looking at it, and they look like the same plate of food. But guess what? Nobody took the free one because they assumed something was wrong with it. Right? So they yep. weren't, hey. So here, now let's think of it as a different way. There was a, another study that was done where they had a bunch of like, you know, college professors, experts in their fields doing a bunch of free lectures. And then they had the same people go over uh, where they actually had to pay whatever it was, 20 bucks, 50 bucks. Again, I don't, I don't know the exact numbers or details. They went over and they actually uh, paid to attend another seminar where the people that put that on were like the college students that really didn't know anything about the topic. They were kind of like messing things up 
making things up or whatever. And then they surveyed the people at the end, and they said they actually got more out of the college students that really didn't know what they were talking about because they paid, they invested in themselves, and because of that, they were more focused, they were more intent on learning, they were more dedicated to what the actual result was going to be. So when I look back at the $1,500, which again at the time was an entire month's salary for me, or we look back at like Jeff, Jeff like selling the car or, you know, or Chris going in, in debt uh, to invest in himself, if we hadn't done those things, we wouldn't have made six figures our first year, guaranteed. Yeah. So what would, what, what would have been the price of that? I would have been miserable. I would have been stuck at some engineering job at a desk, hating, <laughs> hating my life, hating what I, would, I, would do, uh, I was doing for my, my, uh, my life. I wouldn't have been able to bring my wife home for the time uh, between the, the birth of my kids all the way through them going to school. Um, I wouldn't have been able to see my son take his first steps like I did because my wife was home. Like how many memories would I have missed out on if I hadn't sucked it up and figured out a way and have been resourceful? And really, this is kind of like the first test of, of you being an entrepreneur is like how resourceful can you be, right? And we've already, I've already had some good conversations with people being really resourceful. <laughs> you know, coming up with this. Jeff, Jeff do you, you want to add any, uh, anything? No, 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 but I'm good. It's, uh, it's I mean, it, it being resourceful is the best way. Everyone worries about what resources they have. Finding what you need is the best way. Because let me tell you something, like if you have no brakes in your car and you have to have that car to get to work, you, you find the money to get your brakes done. You've always found the money to pay your rent when you haven't had it. You always found a way to get things done. But you've always been doing it just for little meaningless reasons. If you take that energy and you put it into yourself, amazing things start to happen. And now, um, like investing in yourself is the best thing you can possibly do. Awesome, man. Well put. And again, guys, the link is phoenixmarketingexperience.com slash apply. That's your next step to learn more and uh, get connected with us here. I'm going to have to get our, our, our pretty faces out of the way so I can see the slides. So here's my question for you. Even if this experience only cut down your learning curve from one year to three months, would it be worth it? Even if, even if this experience only gave you one insight that completely changed your business, would it be worth it? Again, like I said with my, uh, my mentor, Mark, telling me one secret around wealth and, and luxury really opened up my mind to abundance. I probably wouldn't have had the results that I had over the last 10 years if it wasn't for little insights like that over and over again for my mentors. Again, like health-wise, I wouldn't be in the shape I'm in now if I had come up with every excuse to not work out, not keep pushing, and not change my you know, nutrition. And even if this experience only gave you one connection that opened up a door of opportunity, would it be worth it? The, uh, the, the lady, the, the wonderful woman that's coming in to speak as part of our panel from California, um, I met her at an event in 2011, I think. She became a client customer of mine where we ran Facebook ads and did over $70,000 in like six weeks for her business back in 2014. And now in 2018, we're uh, uh, part, gonna be partners in business. I'm not saying that one connection is gonna completely change your life overnight, but I am saying that making connections in business and beyond uh, at these events can surely like, lead to things down the road that you wouldn't have dreamt possible at the time that it happened. I met these guys a year ago. I didn't know that I was gonna be doing a webinar with them, you know, look, opening up this kind of an experience and changing their lives. But you know what, all three of us met in an event <laughs> yeah. well, changes lives. Yes, sir. So again, apply now. PhoenixMarketingExperience.com slash apply is the link. Again, remember, we only have 25 seats available for this exclusive one-of-a-kind mastermind event. Again, we can review all that's included in here. I think you guys have already seen, you guys and guys have already seen all the stuff that we're going to include. It's a mountain of value. That's all I got to say there. So right now you guys have two choices. You can go the cheap route. You can try and be your own coach like I did when I learned guitar. Got results, but learned a lot of bad habits too, right? So you can try and figure it out all on your own. Keep going in circles, frustrated, wasting time and money. Or you, you can give yourself the resources, the connections, the blueprint, and the coaching and accountability you require to accelerate your business and have your best year ever. Again, this is happening about the third week in January. So I really want to, to see 2019 be your best year ever and get results that you only dream that you only dreamt of. So again, apply now, phoenixmarketingexperience.com slash apply. Secure your exclusive spot now. We look forward to seeing you in January. And real quick, 
I'm going to go through the frequently asked questions and we'll actually be able to get to your Q&A. So if you've been patiently waiting, typing your questions in the chat, your moment has soon arrived in a moment. And one more slide. <laughs> so whether you want to bring a spouse or a business partner, is it the cost of two tickets? The short answer is no. If, you're a, uh, if it's a spouse or a quote business partner, but it's for a separate business or your spouse is in a different business model or different opportunity and we're kind of doing twice the work, then yes, it's two, the cost of two tickets. But if you're both working in the same business together, no, nope, we have another option for you. Um, if you have the spouse, it's going to be another thousand for a standard ticket. VIP is another 1500 or if it's a house guest, it's another 2000. The reason I put a star by this is, um, there's really only one room that's just one bedroom and it's big enough to fit two people. And it ain't going to be me and Jeff. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'm the big spoon. Right? Yeah, I'm the big spoon. <laughs> oh man. So, um, so what we will say is as soon as that room is sold out, that's fine. But guess what? If you do want to stay at the house, um, this might have to be amended or uh, it might actually cost more if, we, if these are selling out because obviously um, we have to kind of give um, somebody that's willing to pay the full price of a ticket first dibs on the beds <laughs> or whatever. Um, we also can't guarantee after that first room is officially done that uh, there'll be another uh, bed big enough for you guys to share even if it's in a shared room. Uh, and that's another uh, note here too is what are the room arrangements? Most of the rooms are shared spaces, so there's two beds per room. I will note that we're not going to put males with females. You know, it's going to be two, two guys sharing, you know, a room, separate beds, or two ladies sharing a room, separate beds. And, uh, again, we're going to make you, like, aware of all these arrangements, uh, you know, on an ongoing basis uh, leading up to the event. Um, if you have any special requirements of that and you want to buy three tickets, so you buy out the room that has three beds in it, so you, you have all that privacy to yourself, we would gladly take, you know, your money and sell out, you know, all that for that. But uh, we'd prefer to impact two other people's lives and have two additional people in those two additional beds. So again, that's, uh, again, it's all, it's all your preference. Uh, next is, are you required to participate in the supercar experience? No, it's completely up to you. I'm not going to twist your arm. But like I said, even if you drive around the track at 50 miles an hour uh, and take your damn time, it's still going to be uh, a once in a lifetime experience that you're going to love. Uh, is travel included? Nope. You are responsible for your own travel arrangements, guys. We are already covering all these meals. We're covering the, the VIP experience day. Photography is costing us multiple, multiple four figures as it is. Um, you don't want to know the, uh, the multiple five figures that we're spending to put into this event. You know, it's at least going to be uh, over $20,000 at this point, uh, the cost of the food and beverages, I'll say, and all the other amenities. Uh, and everything else that's involved with the event. So, uh, no, sorry, travel is not included. You do have to buy your own plane tickets and, uh, uh, or what, what have you. So, finally, we've reached the Q&A section. Woo! I'm going to keep my screen open uh, like such, uh, if that's okay. And uh, as far as questions, can uh, Chris and Jeff, can one of you guys yeah. start going through the list here? Yep, uh, guys, there's a Q&A box right underneath where you're going to see there. If you could drop all your questions in the Q&A box, so the – Chat doesn't just keep moving. We can just run right through those questions straight in the Q&A. But some people did have questions in the chat box, right? Yeah, so um, we had one from Josh. He was wondering uh, if he could purchase the standard ticket and then upgrade to VIP because he doesn't have all the funds currently. Yeah, ab absolutely. You can put down a deposit and have the standard ticket. Um, however, like if, if we – uh, like, so here's the deal. We have 25 tickets max. Um, what percentage of those, um, that are really, uh, uh, maxed is the VIPs that can stay at the house. Uh, that being said, if all 25 people were VIPs, that's fine. You would be able to upgrade you to VIP. The one thing that we can't hold is the VIP, uh, plus house guests. Um, because once those are gone, they're gone basically. So as long as, uh, one, uh, we still have, uh, if you're interested in, as long as we still have the, a seat for that, but, um, you'll be able to, uh, upgrade any time between now and the actual event. Um, I, I believe we can, uh, I, I, I don't want to speak without checking with the guys first, but I, I assume that they'd be okay with you, um, upgrading any time between now and the actual event to VIP because it's not going to change anything for us up until really after the event when we deliver, mm -hmm. um, 
like if the like after you upgrade to VIP, then we'll deliver you the bonuses. And after the event, obviously, you'll get the three month business accelerator uh, coaching mm -hmm. and uh, accountability program. So hopefully, that answer your question, Josh. Yep, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he he says he doesn't need to stay at the house, but it would be a great bonus. So right. he would he's going to try and give it. Awesome. <clears throat> That's uh, no one else is really sending out any questions. All right. That's, awesome. Uh, anything, anything else that's coming in the Q and a itself or the, uh, the, the other, the other box uh, no. Q and a chat. Nope. Some people had to jump off um, for prior, you know, other things that they had going on, but that was pretty basically it. They said, you know, thanks for the information. Got to go. Uh, yeah. You know, have a great evening guys. Got to go. But you know, just um, that's it. Mission accomplished. I hope, uh, or I know that our thoroughness in this presentation to limit the amount of questions that you guys had <laughs> and, and delivered a really good experience is going to carry over into the event itself. I'd, you know, I'd like to get it to the point where everything is so streamlined. We deliver exactly everything that you need in like this, like this box or, you know, on a silver platter. So that way uh, you, you don't even have to have questions you know it's like you know exactly what to do next that's the exact experience we want to provide you guys at the event so that you can leave the event yeah. with the knowledge and everything and that's, it, that's exactly the feedback we're getting right now adam it's great communication amazing content guys i took three pages of notes awesome we're getting tons of really positive feedback and, and we must have delivered in a way that uh left them without questions man that's awesome it's beautiful now that yeah it's um, you, you did a great job explaining all that, Adam. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome, man. Appreciate you guys so much, man. We're going to have so much fun here. And uh, if anything, it's going to be a great time hanging out with you guys. <laughs> uh, and Jared, well, I, I always have a drink with you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a second here. Just grabbing my phone. Um, I do want to say I did see at least, I only had time to look at my phone very briefly, but I did see at least one application come in from a, be, a beer, I believe. And I know, Josh, we've already connected. And I know the other couple that I had referenced before, we'd already connected about tickets. Let's see where we're at. Awesome. Cool, guys. All right. Beautiful. Excellent. Some and guys, I do, uh, I do appreciate everyone's patience. I'm sorry about my previous engagement, but it, <laughs> it's one of those mandatory things I got to do. <laughs> right. Well, there was that. And you missed like our uh, drama of like, uh, I didn't, I, I had to like find other lighting with like the, like opening up the bathroom door over here because like three of the four lights mm -hmm. are out in this room that I'm in. <laughs> like there's 20 other people on the there's, there's always something. Oh, yeah, there's right? always something. The, yeah, the link I, uh, I set a link in Phoenix time and then went to Las Vegas and it didn't let me open it. it told me the seminar was already, uh, the webinar was uh, ended already, had expired. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, tech gremlins, but we got over it. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, it happens. It happens. I like Rush Lowe has been doing our uh, webinars and, he, he, he took how many years? I mean, how many? We've probably done over a thousand webinars, and we still have problems every time we try to set something up, do something. There's always something that happens. It's just yep. a and, and that's just a testament to like, you know, having the right attitude through the whole process where it's just like some people didn't even get the value that, of, of this webinar because they're like, oh, God, you know, they can't even get this right. And it's just like the negative attitude or like, you know what, I'm not going to bother or whatever. And they already gave up on their dreams. They already, you know, they already checked out. Oh yeah. It, let me tell you something. If you, if, if they haven't even started in marketing, they probably shouldn't at that point. <laughs> 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 it's like anything in life. It's always going to have its speed bumps. It's just how you cruise over them. You mean you're going over them with, uh, with uh, wooden tires or you're going over them with freaking in a cad do. You know what I mean? I'll take the I'll take a caddy every day going over those speed bumps. Yeah. Heck yeah, man! It's huge, man! It's huge being able to to overcome those obstacles and keep moving forward with that that intrinsic motivation and and just you know be unstoppable. It's it's what separates. You know, it's what get you know, give two people the same amount of information, but one can be successful and one won't be. What's the what's the separation? What's difference? What's the difference? It's the mindset. It's that one person was willing to not give up to find the solution to keep pushing forward. Well, the other person, you know, more than likely just gave up. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and mistakes will happen. I started uh, a different webinar an hour early today. Mistakes happen. Yep. Yeah. Mistakes happen. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got to fix it. That's all. <laughs> Too funny. So, 
Awesome guys. And again, like for all of you that, uh, that attended tonight here live, again, just you being here is a testament to your own resourcefulness because you didn't, you know, shut off the webinar. You went and searched for the new link and uh, we appreciate you being here and uh, having some laughs with us, having a great experience. And again, we hope to see you guys at the Phoenix Marketing Experience coming up here in January. Again, if you have any questions, um, go ahead and just fill out this form and we'll contact you directly and uh, get those questions answered. And uh, looking forward to connecting with you all. PhoenixMarketingExperience.com slash apply. Uh, Chris and Jeff, do you guys want to uh, say any final words here? Um, I, just, I had a quick question. Will there be a replay? If it's recorded, yes. It's recording. All right, done. All right. Oh, that was just one question. I just, I just want to thank everybody for um, sticking around, giving us your time tonight. We know everybody's time is precious. Um, we do appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate you. And that's it. Yeah, I just, you know, I want to emphasize and personally say thank you. You know, it means a lot that you took the time out of your Thursday to jump on here with us, to learn from us. Uh, you know, it means, it means the world to us. <clears throat> it makes all the late, excuse me, the late nights and, you know, the tireless effort we put in to really deliver this worth it because you guys, you guys were here and you received the value. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> awesome. All right, that is it, everybody. Have a great rest of your night, and uh, we will catch you in January.